So here we want to find the integral, and we are given the integral of the natural log of the square root of x divided by x times dx. Now the first thing that we might choose to use to try and solve this integral is the method of u substitution. Whenever you have a composite function or a function within another function, such as what we have right here, then it might be helpful to make use of u substitution, right? This is a composite function because the square root of x is inside the natural log function. The outside function is the natural log, the inside is the square root of x. And typically when trying to solve an integral with a composite function, it makes sense to set the inside function equal to u and use u substitution. However, in order for that to work, the derivative of that inside function must also be found in the integral. And so is that the case for the integral we have right here? Well, let's take a closer look. If you are very familiar with your derivatives, then you might be able to answer that question right away. But let's see what happens if we set u equal to the square root of x and then take its derivative. Let's see if we will be able to find that in our integral. And so we'll take the derivative of u with respect to x, or du dx, and to take the derivative of the square root of x, it's going to be helpful to rewrite it like this. We'll rewrite it as x to the 1 half power. Remember that taking the square root of a value is the same as raising it to the 1 half power. So we can rewrite it like this, and that makes it a little bit more clear how we can take the derivative of this function using the power rule for derivatives, right? We can now multiply the power down and then subtract one from that power. So the derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to 1 half times x to the negative 1 half power. Now, since the power of x is negative, we can move that quantity to the denominator of this expression, and that would make the exponent positive. So we could rewrite it like this. We would have 1 divided by 2 times x to the positive 1 half power. And then you could rewrite it as a square root and have 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x. Now, do you see that? in this integral. Do you see 1 divided by 2 times the square root of x anywhere in our integral here? No, we don't. And so this isn't going to work. Our first attempt at u substitution is going to fail here because the derivative of what we set u equal to cannot be found in our integral, and so we cannot use u substitution. So we will have to find another way to solve this integral. We can't set u equal to the inside function of the composite function, and we certainly can't set u equal to 1 divided by x. The derivative of 1 divided by x is not going to be the natural log of the square root of x. That's not going to happen. And so it sort of seems like we're stuck here, right? Like we need some other type of integration rule or technique in order to solve this integral, but we actually don't. What we can do here to make this integral easier to solve is make use of the properties of logarithms. In particular, I'm talking about this property, that the natural log of a to the power of b is equal to b times the natural log of a, right? You can take a value raised to an exponent inside a logarithmic function, such as the natural log function, and take it outside the logarithm and multiply it by the logarithm, but then leaving the base of a inside that logarithm, right? So the natural log of a to the power of b is equal to that power of b multiplied by the natural log of just a. Now, why do I bring this up? Why is this helpful for us in this integral? Well, if you remember, we can rewrite the square root of x to be x to the 1 half power, right? So we can rewrite this integral to be the integral of the natural log of x to the 1 half power divided by x times dx, and now you can see that we have the natural log of a value raised to a power, so we can pull that power outside of the logarithm. So we can rewrite it like this. We'll have that this is equal to the integral of 1 half times the natural log of x divided by x dx, right? We had x to the 1 half power inside the natural log function, so we could pull that power outside, multiply it by the natural log, and then we're just left with the base of x inside the natural log function. You could write in those parentheses if you wanted to, and you could see that we still have the natural log of x. Okay, and so now what I'm going to do is simplify the integral a little bit more. We can pull that one half to the outside. You can always pull a constant multiple outside of the integral. So let's do that. I'll continue my work up here, and we'll have that this is equal to one half times the integral of the natural log of x divided by x dx. 
And now we have a new integral that we can try to solve. Specifically, we should try to use u substitution again. Because if you look at this integral, do you see a function and its derivative? And now we can say yes. In particular, we see the natural log function and its derivative one divided by x, right? We could rewrite this integral like this. You could have one half times the integral of the natural log of x times one divided by x dx. That is the same thing as what we have right here, except up here we have the natural log of x multiplied into the numerator, which is a simpler way to write it. But you could also write it like this. It's the natural log of x times one divided by x. And so now we see a function and its derivative. The derivative of the natural log of x is one divided by x. And so we can use u substitution to solve this integral. So let's try u substitution again, except this time it's going to work. So we'll set u equal to the natural log of x, and then a derivative of u with respect to x will be equal to one divided by x. And then what we wanna do is solve for du, and we'll have that du is equal to one divided by x dx. I get that by multiplying both sides of this equation by dx, which allows me to solve for du. Okay, and so then whatever du is equal to, you wanna make sure that you can find that in your integral just to be sure that u substitution is going to work. And so do you see one divided by x dx in the integral? And the answer is yes, it's right here. Okay, so now we can use u substitution. We'll replace the natural log of x with u because that's what we set it equal to. And we'll replace one divided by x dx with du because that's what we found that that was equal to. So here's what we're going to have. This will be equal to one half times the integral of u du. And now we just have a very simple integral. We can integrate this using the power rule of integration. We add one to the power and then divide by that new power. So this will be equal to one half times u squared divided by two. And then don't forget, because this is an indefinite integral, there are no bounds of integration, you can't forget to add the constant of integration, c. So we'll have plus c. Okay, and so now we're almost done. We just need to simplify a little bit and replace u with what we set it equal to, which is the natural log of x. So if we multiply one times u squared, you'll just have u squared, but u is equal to the natural log of x. So we have the natural log of x squared divided by two times two, which is four. So our final answer is that the integral is the natural log of x squared divided by four plus c. That is the solution to our given integral. Okay, and so if you have any questions, feel free to leave those in the comments. And if you found this video to be helpful, feel free to check out some of my other calculus tutorials that I have on my channel. I have an entire playlist of all of my Calculus One videos that you can watch to learn more about calculus. And so feel free to check that out. But if you don't have any questions, then this is all I had for now. So I will see you next time.